introduce for you one type of coffee really, really amazing at our shop. But the first, I will tell you a story about Gesa first. The world didn't know about Gesa until 2004 when a small coffee miracle occurred. In Panama, as we now, luxury coffee as Tai Hacienda La Esperanza is world not fast. Some of the plants look different and it's faded, superior disease resistant. Previously, the cherry had been mixed with the other plants around the farm. But in 2004, they were processed as a separate lot for the first time. It turned out that these slightly elongated springs were something unique. The taste were more like Ethiopian coffee, more than, any, more than anything growing uh, in Latin America. It had an instant floral aroma as a um, taste of nut, feet, mango, bergamot, and lamb. And now, let's try more the beauty of Gesa coffee uh, with Lisello from Nightingale's Estate. Located on the western slope of the Baru Volcanoes, these are the first and only place in the world where heirloom Ethiopian variety of coffee are grown under forest canopy at this scale, like massive ecological parks with the coffee growing as part of the forest community. These greeting playgrounds include train networks that connect Ethiopian to moments ranging from waterfall and pre-Columbian uh, petrolic to giant cheese volcano views. The 90 plus Gersa estate were designed with inspiration the raw from coffee growing wine in its natural header in Ethiopia. Founder Joseph Brokis uh, had an uh, opportunity in uh, 2009 to acquire this uh, large property and had a vision of um, reforesting its historic cattle farming land with the native tree species while planting the um, say loving Ethiopian Gesha coffee beneath the canopy. Native blood Gesha estate proved that coffee can be used to reforest and uh, certain tropical lands while producing the highest value coffees in the world. Native blood is no longer strand now for those who love specialty coffee. This play had produced quality back sea coffee. Uh, scoring high on the SCA scale uh, to create this low coffee, Native Blood Farm had to meet difficult and uh, challenging family conditions. In spirit by the world, uh, Lichi and Zelo. Lichi were the first Thai profile creep at Native Blood Gersha Estate in Panama. But uh, in 2012, World Barista Championship named Put Lee uh, from Taiwan Thai the coffee cherry. They instant dream uh, reminded uh, him of the lychee in uh, his native country. This coffee, coffee beans are small but contain layer of aroma. Depending on the characteristics of the environment and growing area, its tip of coffee will have its own unique uh, aroma. Uh, when you drink in Lisello coffee, slowly feel you can see a faint scent of lychee. Uh, Gartenia and uh, some orange, but the great thing does not stop there. With just a cup of coffee, you can feel the movement and uh, tan of the aroma. The, uh, now, enjoy it with me. Mm. All is Pramiran uh, uh, with the coffee. The last time, when you drink in this low coffee, um, Hot, you can feel the aroma of uh, jasmine, orange, and orange tea. But if serve one, the flavor will be more, more stronger with pleachy, uh, lemons, and uh, some uh, cherry. Um, toward the end, the fruit uh, flavor will be uh, clearer, uh, sweeter, and uh, especially when you cold. Um, at this point, you can recall the night um, little characteristics of the long green apple and uh, fresh meat of fruit. Really, really amazing. And uh, with the design to the flow uh, and bring to our customer new and high quality coffee. Of course, we can't uh, miss the excellent coffee 
and um, this is the first time to collaborate with my particular coffee essay to bring back bring me um, this little coffee to our customer and um, this coffee we usually in the world have it in uh, 2000 and uh, thanks to some new supply and um, really fresh our own way rent and um, the last don't forget to come here and enjoy Lissolo with us. Or you can pick up one spot Lissolo on website, 43factory.coffee. See ya!